Welcome to another episode of Learn It With Lion with PC Lion 324. Recently a viewer asked, which screen recorder are you using? So which screen recorder do I use? GTK Record My Desktop. GTK Record My Desktop is the front end to record my desktop and it's the simplest screen recorder I've used and I've tried pretty much all of them. For me, GTK Record My Desktop is the best. First off, we have to install GTK Record My Desktop. And the fastest way to install any package you know the name of is to open the terminal and give the command sudo apt get install the name of the package dash y. I'm not going to do it though because I already have it installed and I don't need to install it again. After it's installed, you'll find it under the sound section of the main menu. And this is what the interface looks like. You have sliders for video quality and sound quality, a checkbox if you actually want to record sound, which I'm going to uncheck, a select window button, which sets the recording area to the size of a selected window, a save as button, a quit button to quit the application, a record button to start recording, and an advanced button which is how you get to the advanced settings. Under the advanced settings you've got four tabs files, performance, sound, and miscellaneous. The only thing you need to worry about on the files tab is the overwrite existing files check. If this is selected GTK record my desktop will use the same file name for every recording overwriting any files with the same name inside the folder that you select. With the box unchecked, GTK RMD will append a dash and a number to the end of the file name. The number gets auto incremented each time, thus preserving older recordings. The performance tab is where things get a little more interesting. Frames per second obviously controls the recording frames per second. You should determine this by the speed of your CPU and GPU. If you have an extremely fast computer, you can use encode on the fly. Encode on the fly will encode the video as it's being recorded. Zero compression keeps the video from being compressed and makes it look better but increases the file size. Quick subsampling reduces the processing power but may degrade color quality. Full shots every frame is recommended if you're running a 3D compositor like Compose Fusion. It helps remove leftover artifacts from all the effects of Compose. The sound tab is of course used to control sound options. I usually don't touch anything here as I could never get Jack to work um, and my mic is only one channel so I just pretty much leave this the same. I don't mess with anything here. The miscellaneous tab is where all the more fun options are. I don't change the display as I wanted to record the primary display or the default display so I don't change that at all. The mouse cursor drop down is used to change the color of the mouse while recording. I don't think this works if you're using Compies because my mouse cursor never changes and I have changed it. Follow mouse keeps the mouse centered in the capture area. I don't know what MIT SHM extension does so I leave it alone. Include window decorations includes the window decorations on selected windows if you don't have follow mouse enable tooltips pops up uh, tooltip information or instructions on each option outline capture area on the screen draws the capture area on the screen if you have follow mouse checked I recommend using this until you get a feel of where the capture area is at all times the problem with outline capture area is that it will appear in your vids from time to time while following the mouse I don't use it anymore but I used to Reset capture area will reset the capture area back to full screen after each recording has stopped. This is fine of course if you want to capture the whole screen and I used to use it for my first videos. I don't muck around with extra options and I suggest that you don't do it either unless you want to read the man pages uh, for GTK record my desktop. So how do we record something with GTK RMD? First you select a recording area. This can be done using the default full screen, using the last size selected, clicking and dragging in the live desktop preview, 
or selecting a window with the select window button. Then we set the sound and video quality, give a file name and folder, then click record. Once you're recording, an icon will pop up in the notification pane that looks like a stop icon on a media player. This icon will allow you to pause recording or stop recording altogether. If you don't have encode on the fly option checked, your video will get encoded. It's very important that you follow directions in the dialog because there's no way to recover videos that are not completely encoded. After that, you're done. Navigate to where you save the video in view. Now GTK RMD creates videos as OGVs using the OGV Vorbis slash Theoria codec. This format can be uploaded to YouTube but not many editors can read it, especially not the more popular ones so you typically have to convert them to MP4s or AVIs but that is definitely another episode. And that'll do it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe, but more importantly, leave questions and comments in the comments section. I really do appreciate and use the feedback, so please comment and question. And I'll see you next time. Why do I say that? I can't actually see you guys, nor can you see me. I gotta find a new closing.